couple of the junkies are with us now. A couple of guys that, well, half of the junkies are here. The other two probably the better caught, half. The better half, yeah. The other two are probably caught in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> AB and JP are with us. Great to have you Thomas guys again come out. Thank you very Thanks much, so much. Thank you, Phil. Hey, a lot of talk about uh, the, the Niger Morgan situation down in Florida, barreling into the catcher and then, of course, right. charging the mound, all heck breaking loose. You guys got a take on that? A little bit. I mean, obviously, he seems to be a bit of a hothead. But, I mean, what are you going to do when they're constantly throwing behind you? You know, it was a disappointing yeah. season for him, a guy who's actually kind of struggled behind, uh, you know, at bat, hasn't really been stealing like you would expect him to do. And then I don't know if he's just lost it, but it is kind of something where, you know, sometimes your temper is going to flare when you're getting thrown at. You know, he's a, it's a little bizarre, the fact that so many incidents happened in such a short period of time. I actually like that enthusiasm, though, to be honest with you. I like that, that oh, fight, yeah. that toughness. And I was happy that Riggleman supported him, be honest with you. And, and I think we saw the ball club, as you see there, exactly what happened. I mean, if somebody throws behind you guys, you're going to charge the mound, probably. Absolutely. Well, maybe not against that big guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of your stature, guy. Six, eight, yeah. <laughs> but he got the first shot off. Yeah. So, well, well, you know, you, you do want to see somebody sticking up for themselves. I wonder, though, if it's because of his frustration that he kind of had been struggling this season. I think that has a lot to do with it, yeah. Well, it might, but I also look at the, the, the idea that, that prior to the last week, week and a half, he's been pretty much on, you know, on the straight and narrow. And right. it, it went from running into the catcher against the Cardinals and then the barreling into the catcher against the Marlins and the, and the brawl, uh, not that he was necessarily provoked to do the first two things, but right. uh, whether it's fight or I, I think of the book that came out uh, 25 years ago, The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat, you know, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> he, there's something, he, there's some perception problem here. Right. I missed that book, Phil. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did too, as a matter of fact. I but just, that was a good one, though. I like, right. The question is, though, is this going to be enough to sort of make the team want to move on, Johnny? That's my question. Yeah. Is he going to be here next year? Speaking of being here, how about Adam Dunn? Adam yeah. Dunn's getting suppressed. He wants to stay here. Got a take on that? Uh, we've talked about it on the show, and uh, Dunn has been on our show a bunch. He's a great guy. Oh, I think he's great guy. for the clubhouse. You know, I don't write the checks, but I'd give him a big fat one and keep him here. Well, didn't we offer Mark Teixeira $180 million a couple years ago? We can't find enough money to yeah. get to Adam Dunn, arguably our second best player on the team? Yeah, I think the idea that they can easily replace his power doesn't make a lot of sense at this, this point in time. Right. But if they offer him arbitration and he accepts, then you know he'll be here for one more season. Right. You know, and I guess if they lose him, they get that compensatory pick, right. which landed them Jordan Zimmerman in the past. Right. So that's not the worst thing that could happen, but I'd love to see Don die. You know, last time you guys were here, we were talking about Steven Strasburg. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's had the Tommy John surgery, and now he's going to have that rehab. But once he gets back and some of the other injured pitchers get in that rotation, this ball club, as you look to the future, is going to be extremely good. Yeah, you'd love to see you know Steven Strasburg back on the mound, Jordan Zimmerman, you know, great young pitchers at the top. You've seen a solid bullpen this season with young with young arms there as well. So it's exciting. Hopefully, you know, a couple years from now, Bryce Harper's there, Steven Strasburg's oh, yeah. there, and this team's actually winning ball games. Let's just skip 2011. Let's <laughs> cut right to 2012, Johnny. Hey, your security people are here to take you to your <laughs> okay. seats now. Great to see you guys. Thank you very Continued much. Continued success. Nobody does it better in the morning than the jockeys. Believe me.